What's going on there, guys? Good evening. It is your Earthmaster here on the live stream on this uh, November 1st, 2021 date, about uh, 7.53 p.m. California time. Latest quake on the globe is a 5.4, just striking southwest of the Fiji Islands area. Pretty shallow earthquake uh, just happening here within the last uh, about 15, 20 minutes or so. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on with the uh, La Palma, Spain's La Palma volcano. Keep getting quite a bit of a request on this uh, volcano in the Canary Islands. Here's a little map that was put out, uh, looks like just a couple days ago, on the, uh, as far as the evacuation of people and the general flow of magma from this volcano, which is still in the eruption stage. Uh, this map was put out, uh, looks like on the 28th of... Uh, um, of October, you can see up here on the date, not really much has changed in the way of the eruption that's ongoing at the moment there at La Palma. Uh, looks like, uh, still quite a bit of lava flow from the lower vents, um, on the western flank of it. Volcanic trimmer. Uh, I got to show you guys a little map here real quick on the, uh, or at least a graph on the volcanic trimmer. It's pretty cool to look at. See if I can bring that up. We'll get to that here in a second. It's going to be this one right here, Volcanic Trimmer. You can see, looking at the bottom, dates up to um, UTC time tomorrow, 11-2, or November 2nd, UTC time. See Volcanic Trimmer on the uh, increase. It looks as though within the past day, it has subsided just a little bit on the graph. On the right side of the graph, you can see a little dip in the red. But prior to that, uh, a couple weeks prior to that, you can see uh, these little dips and uprises. Looks like we may be in a little dip at the moment uh, before things uh, kind of uprise once again. Here is the um, earthquakes and the depth of the earthquakes. It goes back to, it looks like, the October 24th. And um, this here is kind of interesting because for the most part, all these earthquakes have been taking place there at uh, La Palma have been consistently, at least a majority of them, at a certain depth, certain level uh, in the past day or so. It looks like maybe, past, yeah, about the past day, we've seen an increase in shallower earthquakes. You can see at the right end of the graph, uh, or of, of the graph, an up, upward trend, meaning shallower earthquakes. That could be a sign that uh, we're looking at uh, possibly some further increase in the magma. I don't think this thing is going to die down anytime soon. Uh, if anything, I think this thing may get a little bit more on the uptick uh, on the uh, explosive side than, than completely dying down. It just, uh, it's just—it's kind of looking that way at the moment. Uh, and this thing is just uh, kicking off with trimmer left and right. But I, as I mentioned, I think we're in a little dip right now. Kind of looks like a, a little, little graph. What we got there? One, two, three. It looks like we may be on the third uphill, but just a little dip before we start taking another rise uh, in the uh, trimmer department. Things are still kind of um, kicking off, folks. So just looking at that map right there, you can see the uh, general flow of the uh, magma and all the people evacuated. 7,200 people evacuated um, and some buildings and whatnot. It looks like... Uh, 21, uh, 2,183 destroyed, buildings destroyed from all this uh, activity there at La Palma. 911. Let's see what else we got here, folks. Uh, I'm going to get into some earthquake activity real quick. Uh, we'll check out the globe and whatnot. Uh, there's that 5.4 to southwest of the Fiji Islands area. latest map here the USGS map shows the activity um, kind of dying down up here along the uh, northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire we're still kind of watching that movement uh, around the Fiji Vanuatu area Vanuatu area and the Tonga area with some um, increase in s moderate swarming including that 5.4 that just kicked off over the last seven days or so I've been kind of watching a cluster of uh, moderate quakes within this region Nothing significant at the moment, uh, but still kind of just uh, 
keeping an eye on this area for possibly large-scale movement with all the deep movement we've seen in this area uh, it's a good indicator of something definitely uh, brewing up down here in this region I would highly watch the Kermadec Trench area southward here uh, through New Zealand uh, with all the shallow earthquake activity taking place today meanwhile into the look at the states over here look at the United States a lot of movement into the uh, Rocky Mountains area there's that activity in New Mexico um, last night. They had, for, is that a new one or is that another one? Let's see here. It looks like they may have downgraded that uh, 4.0 there in New Mexico. But still uh, quite a bit of movement taking place through the uh, Montana, Wyoming area and also over around the New Madrid area. Some earthquake activity in Arkansas and up around the Missouri area area uh, 1.7 near Marston Missouri and also a 2.2 uh, ash flat Arkansas pretty deep movement here in this area 14 kilometers also South Carolina getting in on some action with a uh, 2.0 near uh, Jen Jenkinsville South Carolina 5.1 kilometers uh, down dip or no, I shouldn't say that but below the surface uh, activity diminishing here around Long Valley and also the Antelope Valley area things kind of looking like they're calming down a little bit Ridgecrest area uh, overall just kind of dwindling as well not a whole lot of movement into Southern California area we did have a 2.6 off the coast of San Diego six six kilometers for that earthquake out there not a big one but uh, nonetheless we have seen a little bit of uptick in earthquake activity kicking off in that region um, of the Pacific uh, we are seeing some movement around the Washington area as well with some activity deeper movement into the uh, I'm sure the subduction zone of the Cascadia with a 2.1 earthquake near this area of Washington 43 kilometers for the earthquake that struck there uh, earlier today looking at the trimmer map along the Cascadia still shows quite a bit of movement uh, in the southern end and uh, central part of the Cascadia down dip downstream here looking at 277 epicenters of trimmer along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone so still kind of keeping an eye on that area as well there's all the Intermountain West region here along the uh, Montana Wyoming Salt Lake uh, City area also getting in on, on some earthquake activity uh, let's see what we got here in South America just some uh, some deeper movement once again looks about the same as last time some Puerto Rico Puerto Rico area getting pretty active uh, with a 5.0 that struck earlier today 31 kilometers uh, well to the east of Puerto Rico around the uh, uh, north of St. John's area just a uh, trail of activity close very close to the Puerto Rico trench you can see this movement here uh, kind of striking in this area this this uh, zone very capable of producing some pretty good sized earthquakes uh, I've been watching this region for quite some time we'll see what kicks off here um, with that movement uh, Yellowstone National Park real quick folks we'll check this out got the barbecue going so I'm kind of watching that got to get out there before the meat burns uh, we did see some swarming late last night seen all that earthquake activity ramp up but since then things kind of calming down so all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here and uh, finish up the uh, barbecue. I will chat you guys a little bit later. In the meantime, stay safe out there and uh, be prepared. We've got a lot going on out there. Peace out.